If you have video and audio files on your computer that you want to share with your students, you can upload them to Panopto and make them available alongside course content that's been created within Panopto, such as lecture recordings and screen captures. To do this, click on Create in Panopto to open the drop-down menu and select Upload Media. When the new page opens, select the folder to which you wish to upload the content from the drop-down menu. If you don't select a specific destination folder, any selected files will upload to the current folder by default, so a useful alternative workflow can be to navigate to your desired destination folder before beginning the upload process. Once you've selected or navigated to the destination folder in Panopto, you can choose the media files to upload. There are three ways to upload from your computer to Panopto. You can navigate to the file's location on your computer and drag it into the upload area of Panopto, as indicated by a grey dashed borderline. The file will then begin uploading automatically and immediately. Alternatively, you can click on the upload area where it says choose video or audio files, and a window will open allowing you to navigate to the files you want. Again, once selected, file upload will begin immediately. It is possible to upload multiple files simultaneously, so you don't need to wait for the first one to finish before adding another. A progress bar shows upload progress, and when completed, each file uploaded will show a tick next to it. The destination folder will now display the content, which is immediately ready for editing and use. A third upload method, suitable for advanced users, is simply to drag files directly from your Explorer or Finder window onto the folder page in Panopto. This works very similarly to the previous methods, but with slightly less user feedback, so it's a good option once you're comfortable with the process. Panopto supports a wide range of media types, including all the most common ones, such as AVI, MP4, M4V, MPEG, Windows WMV and WMA, QuickTime Movie and QT files, ASF, 3GP, and of course MP3.